Welcome to my home. If you're new here, my name is Karen. I'm feeling a little bit more put together today, which is nice. Uh, I'm wearing the same clothes as yesterday because these are going to get dirty. First of all, I want to wash my tub. I'm going to do that first because I really don't want to wash my tub. <laughs> I don't want to scrub my tub. So I'm going to do it first because it is exhausting. And clean that bathroom which is our full bath. And then uh, Rachel, we had bought her a wooden bureau and she painted it. She made a, a beautiful art piece, which I'll show you. I think I've shown it before, but now she's done with it. We're gonna seal it. So that is super exciting. We wanna test it out. It's like in the 50s Fahrenheit today. So we wanna test out when we get good ventilation, how much the odor is on her, if we need to bring it outside to do the rest of it, or if we can do it in her room. Then I want to do some outside cleanup, dragging branches and stuff because it's in my 50s. I want to get outside. I want to keep on going. So with the outside cleanup, I don't want to give up. So it doesn't matter that there's still snow on the ground. Most of, a lot of it has melted. And then I'm making a chili because my daughter Ava is having a friend over and chili is one pot without a lot of mess. The other thing I'm going to do, but you won't see this until probably tomorrow, is I'm going to get back down in the basement and I want to start pulling the pictures out of the photo albums. That seems like a bad thing to do, but I think it's actually going to be good because a lot of the photo albums, they're all like aged and yellowed with time. But that will be its own dedicated video because there were those of you who thought that would be better is to have them as dedicated videos. So that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to head upstairs. I already put the stuff I need for cleaning upstairs to give myself some accountability because that's how afraid I was that I would change my mind. That bathroom gets so dirty so fast. It's going to get so much better when we're done, but when we're done remodeling it, but we got to get our taxes done. So that's how we're going to have to spend weekends until we get back from North Carolina. So we're not going to get back in there till the end of the month. But the good news is we can finally order all the things that are left, like the vanity, the toilet, the flooring, anything left. Oh, um, the bottom wall covering anyway. I'm talking too much and I need to get going on that bathroom. But just to know, we're going to finish that bathroom end of April, beginning of May. Also, I asked you guys to vote what room I do next. You said the bedroom. So I need to this week finish up with the bath, the downstairs bathroom, just the refresh paint. And then we're going to come in here and I will paint the rest of this room. I have some ideas for maybe putting curtains up over the bed. I've always wanted to do that. Just kind of swoopy, light, airy curtains. I always thought that'd be beautiful. Very excited. Let's get going. I'm not going to use the light in here because that just turns on the fan. So... I need to take my shoes and socks off to do the tub because I'll definitely be stepping in there. Makes me feel like I'm not gonna fall on my keister. And I don't tend to bend over, I tend to sit on the side. I brought up a microfiber cloth. I'm sure I'll use paper towels too. A lot of times I'll clean with a microfiber, but if I need to dust, it'll be with the paper towels because this picks stuff up and throws it back down. And I'm also using the Mrs. Myers tub and tile. That way I don't get overwhelmed with fumes made with plant-derived cleaning ingredients and essential oils. I love it. Okay, so the first thing I need to do is to get all the stuff out of there. So before anybody tells me that I should have each person have a little carrier so they can bring their own stuff in, they already do. First of all, one daughter who shall remain nameless, Yvonne, <laughs> She has a ton of products because she likes to use like three different shampoos at once, like one one day, one the next. She kind of rotates. She does not use her carrier. Then I have one daughter who does use a carrier. Actually, two. But then we also have products that are shared. So whenever that happens, then uh, I know that they're going to end up in here too. And my husband also does not use a carrier. So, yeah, there's that. I like to look at these razors and see if there's any rust. Sometimes people have moved on to a new razor, but they haven't um, thrown away the old razor because nobody can keep track of whose are whose. Actually, for us, this was not a ton. Also, if I see somebody put a new one in, I get rid of the old one. All right, 
this time I'm actually going to do it correctly, going from top to bottom. Just going to wet it down. And I also wet my microfiber cloth. Luckily the bottom isn't that slippery because I actually wiped it off a couple days ago. I will do it again, but that does get nasty. All right. So we got some cleaner on this. So I can do the top. And then I'll just go over it with the other side of the microfiber in place of a rinse. But anytime I see dust, like I just did, I got dust from the top of this. It is a little slippery on the bottom, actually. Then I come back in with a paper towel. Honestly, I probably need to get swim shoes to do this properly. And I don't have to worry about slipping at all. I think we have a pair that are like so big on me. Like my husband's. Not actually his feet aren't that big. Maybe they're my son's. Mostly what I'm cleaning is like soap scum, hard water stains, you know, it's really not like dirt, dirt. But I suppose if you're in here to get clean, there's really not a lot of dirt, dirt. One thing I really hated when during the storm power outage was washing my hands with freezing cold water. And whenever our daughter Creasia was in the bathroom, she's 19, everyone would be like, where's the kettle? Who took the kettle? And it was always Creasia. She would just take the whole kettle of water in the bathroom with her so she could mix hot water with cold. She was the smart one. Actually, I'm going to do the bottom of the tub right now because it is slippery. I'd like a dry spot to sit down here. I might as well clean that while I'm here. One thing I love about spring, which is probably why we spring clean, is I love all the good lighting. Just the way the sun comes in so much more directly is so nice. Of course, I'm going to get dirty feet prints on here because I step on the floor and I step in here. I also need to order a new liner. All right. I'm getting distracted. I forgot to bring up a um, trash bag, but I'll get that in a minute because I think I stole the bag box that goes up here. All right, so... I've got so many bottles of this tub and tile. I wasn't keeping good track of my Grove orders, so it kept coming. Now I make sure there's not enough in the cart after I order to get a second order, and then it will tell me that I need to put more in the cart before they'll send me any. That way, I don't have to worry about it coming without me realizing it's coming. Alright, maybe I do need to see to bend over. Probably should have cleaned the floor first too, then I wouldn't be stepping on hair, putting hair in the tub. One of these days I'll get this perfect. One thing too I always have to remember when I'm doing this is I rush through everything. And so 
half the reason why I get so tired cleaning this tub is because I rush. If I just go slow, then I'm fine. All right, that might be not be perfect, but it's going to keep me from sliding around. And now I can do the bottom half, I can do the bottom half here, and then I can go back to the bottom again. Oh yeah, that's way less slippery now. It is interesting, like, my wrist gets sore? I don't remember that. That's new. So when I'm cleaning, sometimes my wrists are getting sore now. Oh yeah, totally should have, <laughs> it's like hair sticking to my feet. I should have um, um, vacuumed first. Hopefully I remember that next time. Ugh, just getting the hair off is so annoying. about a white tub is you can feel soap scum better than you can see it. Sometimes I see it one layer but then I think it's gone but I can feel my cloth kind of dragging or I can feel the film on my hands so then I know I'm not done yet. These are the cheapo paper towels, but they're actually holding together really, really well. So it just goes to show you don't need to get the most expensive paper towel. All right, get all the hair up. Ugh. So that's mine as I'm doing it, my hair's falling out. Go get a couple trash bags and then I can put everything back in. That really wasn't bad. I feel like the more I do it, the less it bothers me to do it. Okay, shoes are back on, so now I can put everything right back in the shower. This is not so bad. We've seen worse, have we not? <laughs> and then we just had one, two, three empties, which also isn't too bad. So I'll empty this and see if these fit in there, which I usually just toss down the stairs. I go in the closet so that I don't scare anybody. New bag in here. in here. Give it a quick wipe with the microfiber that still has the tub and tile on it. Then I have the soap dishes just kind of soaking. So I'll keep them soaking here. This looks like a little sliver of soap. I don't think they'll come clean. These are like travel soap dishes, but I really have bought soap dishes and in the end, they just get so grimy. I'd rather just have this, honestly. You can even toss them in the dishwasher. 
in the top shelf, I'm sure. So the major thing I wanted to get done was the tub. Now that that is done, I can just do a quick clean. That needs to be refilled. Spray these, let the disinfectant do its work while I clean the mirrors. This toilet I need to dust off first. This, would you not maybe put that in water and scrub it? to get the dust off. That's what I'm thinking. Let me know in the comments, how would you clean a basket that's gotten like all dusty? The last thing I wanna do is give up my love of uh, baskets just because of dust. I'm feeling like spraying it and cleaning it that way would work. way easier to clean once you get all the dust and hair you know so I start with a dry paper towel and then I use cleaner and this whole thing just needs a good vacuuming as well so I'm just kind of dragging out dirt hair you name it cannot wait to get this replaced it's a patient process because my husband has more to do than just our bathroom, unfortunately. Especially when we have storms and trees falling down and goodness. This isn't even going here, it's a stool, so I'll put that back in the closet. to get a laundry basket for outside this door because people use a face cloth and leave it in here. You want a dose of my reality? There it is right there.
All right, I'm gonna do these before it dries again. <laughs> So like hair, nothing cleans like a paper towel, I'm telling you. So even if I don't want to use a ton of them, I'm going to use at least one on each spot to wipe up when I'm done. Top to bottom. <laughs> and then I couldn't take it anymore. I couldn't take it anymore. I had to do it with other sinks. Reminding myself to go slow. Ugly, but disinfected. And we can see the hope of the remodel if we just focus here. <laughs> Look, it's Woozy. He's having some treadmill time. And Leo is on his current favorite couch. And they're keeping my husband company while he works. I just noticed it's 59 degrees out. Rachel and I were about to seal her bureau. And then I was like, all right, let's look and see what the temperature is because we were deciding where to do it. And we decided in the basement, but then I noticed it's 59 degrees out. So everything stops while I go outside and move branches just for the fun of it. <laughs> I'm just so excited. So I'm gonna put my boots on because if it's not snowy, it's muddy. And we're gonna go outside and have some fun. Do you like to clean up outside? I don't know why I like it so much, but I really do. Especially when it's 59 degrees and there's like no bugs. Look, I have actual gloves on. Of course, they don't fit that great. And they're super thin because they're from the Dollar Tree. So, but at least I won't get pitch on my hands unless it goes through the glove. There's hope. Because there is plenty for me to do. I could even use my um, boots to get that stuff. Here's my sad wheelbarrow. <laughs> There's one handle missing, and this tire, we've replaced this tire so many times, and I don't know where my husband got this particular tire, but it like wobbles back and forth while you're going. Oh well, it'll do. Half of this is sitting in a mud puddle, and I don't really want to get wet, so I'm gonna take care of the half that's sitting in the mud puddle. And I am making myself a big old burn pile. And as soon as it's dry, I'll be burning. I'll be burning every day. Oh, Ready to work? Gloves. Yep. 
You don't want to clean this with me, huh? No. Why not? It's so fun. No, it's not. Dog, you just don't know, man. Look at all the, think about all the oh, marshmallows. you don't know, man. What? Think of all the marshmallows you're going to build the world. I'm actually hot out here. She says falling over. What'd you say? I said she says falling over. I was falling over, too. I'm an old lady. Right. Don't you feel bad that nope. I'm doing this? Nope. <laughs> Call someone to help. All right, goodbye. Bye, have a good day at work. What are you time to get out? Eight? Eight. Okay. Yeah. Is anyone having a friend over? Yeah. Oh, okay. At four. I don't remember the name. not going to overfill this <laughs> with it being so broken. <sighs> Still better than hauling every handful back and forth. I feel like I should probably do this area first so that I have a place to put all this. I know this one's over the generator, so I'll do that because it's behind the fence. Can. Then I have a place to put all these sticks because this is my burn pile. Okay, my husband's going to have to cut these smaller with the uh, chainsaw so I can burn them. Those are not snapping over my knee. Yeah. So I should have done this first, but honestly, anything I pick up is better than before. I love this stuff with the lichen all over it for burning. This really helps you get burning quick. All right, I'm gonna go after, like this is like a big bunch. It's not that I can't get more, but I know I can get this stuff, so I might do this even if I have to drag it away. Thank you.
All right, I got my pruners and I got whatever this is called. So I can see how much of that I can cut down because I feel like I want at least one spot that kind of looks like before and after. over there of branches I'm gonna grab these pretty <laughs> they're gonna they're gonna have holes in them by the time I'm done we got this I'm gonna rake what I can out of the water so that it can dry I can't wait to start burning let me just say then I'm gonna go over there and see if I can make it look like a before and after my own steak. Right, so at least I cleared a little path right there, right? And let me show you this tree trunk. This poor thing, the way it broke. Look at that. Get out of the shadow here. Look at that. That just, like, that is so solid. Just got pitch all over my hand. And I did, you know, get some of this cleared up. I got those out of the mud puddle. 
So we'll put you over this last load. And then, oh, and I also did around the wood pile itself. I didn't do bad with my broken wheelbarrow. <laughs> so that's my pile that I got all picked up. Luckily it wasn't one of those times where I thought I was going to get it all done. I knew that it was just going to be a little start. So it's just going to be bit by bit every time I get a nice day. And I'm sure my husband will be out here with a chainsaw at some point. But we get a lot to get done. So it's just about patience. I'm definitely going in. I'm going to take a break. I need to help Rachel seal the bureau and then I would like to get started on the photo albums because I know I have a busy day tomorrow and I won't have much time to film so that will give you a video for the following day as well. All right so we got Rachel this wooden bureau and she used it as a paint project and made a beautiful piece of art so we're gonna start sealing it we're just trying one drawer today because uh, is it okay if I show you have multiple chemical sensitivity? Yeah, that's fine. She has multiple chemical sensitivities, so we wanted to test out and see if we're able to do it inside or not, or if we needed to go outside with it. So we're just going to do one drawer today, and if it works, then the next time we can just bang out the whole thing. Okay. So I'll pop this open. Okay, so that's what the wax looks like. I know about this. It's amount of wax that's about twice. Okay, that's about twice the thickness of the cloth. So we're going to buff this instruction again. Allow wax. Apply a thin, even coat piece finishing wax with a clean cloth. Originally, I thought it would be good to use a wax, and I have to say, I could not even smell this wax. So if we had just painted, you know, the drawers normally, we would have done it. So here's what we found. She was using a mixture of acrylic paint and then acrylic paint pens. And the paint pens were really great for getting the design she wanted, but what we were finding was the wax was moving the color of the paint pen, which was yellow. So then we decided okay this wax isn't going to work and what I'm actually going to use the wax for is I've been touching up my cabinets with paint pens if you remember and so I'm going to try putting a little bit of wax over the paint pens and see if that it yeah over the paint pens and we're going to get her just a spray poly which I didn't want to do because of the smell but honestly if I need to seal it for her because she can't handle the smell, that's what we'll do. But we'll need to be taking it outside. So that's what we they ended up be with. The same type of acrylic, right? Is the thing. Yeah. So yeah. It's okay. possible it'll be easier to just bring it all, haul it all outside, and spray paint it. Yep, I agree. So mixed results here. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna get a craft poly. Yeah. Like a spray poly, mm -hmm. and then just go Use outside a, and spray it all. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. My youngest daughter is having a friend over from school for dinner, and so whenever we have friends over, we tend to go taco, pizza, that kind of thing, and I often will do chili, especially when I'm tired. I will do chili because it's a one-pot recipe, so I'm going to link the this chili recipe in the description box below, but it's called The Best Classic Chili Recipe, and it is from the website wholesomedish.com, thewholesomedish.com. And um, if you put in Google the best classic chili recipe, and then you can just do thewholesomedish.com, that one, that's what I'm doing. But I make a lot of changes, and I'm not making changes because I think my changes are better. It's just in my quest to save money on groceries, I am learning to just use what I have and not to worry about the recipe not being perfectly the same. So as I go, I will tell you what I'm is in the recipe and then at the end I will tell you all the changes I made. The only change I forgot to tell you about is the recipe calls for two tablespoons of granulated sugar. I do not put sugar in my chili. I feel like tomato paste is good enough. So you saw me chopping up an onion because it calls for one medium yellow onion. 
and then one tablespoon of olive oil I also didn't mention in the description at the end I always use avocado oil and the reason I do is I'm not a big fan of the flavor of olive oil plus uh, avocado oil has a higher smoke point and if you exceed the smoke point of uh, an oil it becomes a carcinogen and so um, I use avocado oil and the other thing I do even though it called for one and a half teaspoons of salt and a half teaspoon of ground black pepper is I just keep salting and peppering it at each stage so I wanted to do that when it was at the meat stage and then I do it again when I put everything in there so it also for spices uh, it calls for two and a half tablespoons of chili powder and two tablespoons of ground cumin I didn't have two tablespoons of ground cumin so I just end up dumping in <laughs> I start by measuring thinking well maybe I have two tablespoons and then I realize nope you don't have two tablespoons so I just dump the bottle in and I'm gonna have to get myself some more cumin uh, I also like to get tomato paste it calls for two tablespoons of tomato paste and I do it in this like squeeze tube because I find that if I buy tomato paste in a can you never need the whole even though you get a little tiny can you never need the whole thing and so I find it better to get the squeeze tube I end up wasting less tomato paste it's more expensive to get it that way but I'm convinced it's cheaper in the long run and so I did my onions and I did my um, hamburger and then I added in all the spices and then I added one can of petite diced tomatoes a cup and a half of beef broth it calls for and then it also calls for one eight ounce can of tomato sauce so you saw me measuring and I'm just giving it a taste and then it also called for one can of red kidney beans 16 ounces drained and rinsed I never rinse my beans because I feel like it adds flavor why would you do that so then I stir it all up and we're good all right I use real garlic and not garlic powder I used veggie broth because I had some I wanted to get used up instead of beef broth. I used spaghetti sauce, marinara rather, rouse, instead of just the plain tomato sauce because I didn't have the plain tomato sauce. I used black beans instead of kidney beans because I don't have kidney beans and it's going to be delicious. Oh, I also didn't have two tablespoons of cumin so I probably used like a tablespoon and a half. It's very forgiving. And then everyone will put their own cayenne pepper in it. Remember, as always, God loves you. I love you too. And I can't wait to see you next time, which hopefully will be tomorrow doing some decluttering in the basement.